Hey, what's up guys? Hayne here, bringing you another tutorial, and uh, this tutorial will be a special tutorial, which will be how I usually make my renders, like like these types of renders. Um, it's a very unique type of render, I'd say. Uh, it could be its own style as well. So I'm just going to show you guys how to make this, this type of render. So let's, uh, let's get started. So right off the bat, in Cinema 4D, uh, you can download my Lightroom if you want. It's in one of the Friday giveaways. Um, so right now I have the air. I'm gonna use the Arrow logo. So I'm just gonna go uh, uh, this square right here and get extrude nerbs. Just want to get how many ever uh, paths there are for uh, whatever you're using. So I'm just gonna put that in there. So as you can see now that um, I tr I made the Arrow logo 3D. I'm just gonna make the uh, I'm gonna go cap, fill a cap, and I'm just gonna set them both to two for both uh, steps and radius. So there we go. Now, well, actually, no, don't make it two, make it one, actually. <laughs> so there, now it's all one. So now that we have that, uh, I'm just gonna make the uh, depth a little bigger. So in movement, you just wanna change this 20 centimeters to 45. And then what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna make it fit the lighting by just dragging it back, making it a little bigger so it could fit the logo a little bit, like so, like that. Drag it down a little bit, and I'm just gonna use the rotating the uh, rotating tool, and I'm just gonna rotate it back so then it fits the logo angle, so then you get the best lighting out of the Lightroom. So about right there will work. That'll work. So I'm just gonna. Bring it down a little bit, so about right there. Delete that, and there we go. So now that we have that, I'm going to use these materials right here. So I usually don't use displacement on this material because uh, it honestly just makes the render times longer. Because for this material, it looks just as good without a uh, displacement on. So I just prefer it not to have displacement. So there you go. Once you do that, what you want to do is you want to get your mo text right here, and then just wait for it to load in. So give it a sec. There we go. And I'm just gonna call it arts, like the banner. And then, as you can see, I'm going to change the font to Typograph Pro. It's a free font. It's a really good font as well. Uh, you can use it for 3D stuff or just a professional type of thing if you'd like. So there you go. Right here, but as you can see, the edges are really sharp. So I'm just gonna change each one to two to make the edges a little bit less as sharp and more like smoother. So now that we have that, I'm gonna make it fit onto the logo by going to object and going height to turning it down to make it fit onto the logo a little bit better. So all right, there will work. And I'm just gonna kind of rotate it back a little bit so it fits it. Mm. Oh, I'd say that works, and then I'm going to turn off this camera here so I can get a nicer, like, view on it so I can make it bigger, so maybe right there, that'll work. I'm just going to kind of do that, make it a little bit smaller, about right there, make it fit, and I'm just going to drag it up a little bit, and then once you do that, you're just going to put on the same materials, but this time you're going to duplicate this so then like that or hold on control C control V and then go caps and just put it on cap with the duplicated one and you want to select uh, this in gone down here to quadrangles and then select regular grid and then what you want to do is you want to get an atom array right here and what this will do is uh, it will create this cool little cage effect which I made a tutorial on a while ago it's a very useful effect, I would say. I use it in a lot of my renders. But what you want to do is you want to set the cylinder and s sphere radius to 0 0.8. That's usually what I use for all of my uh, sizes for all my renders. You just kind of want to drag it up. I'm going to kind of kind of like this. Right there. That'll work. And what you want to do now is you want to get this, this material right here, and you just want to uncheck the displacement because if you have displacement on for lava 
the render times are going to be super long so I really wouldn't recommend that so once you do that what you want to do next is you want to duplicate the error you did earlier and do the same thing what, with what you did with the arts you just want to change the fill the caps to cap uh, select quadrangles and regular grid you want to get three atom rays due to the three uh, extrude nerves and you just want to drag each one into each atom array so then it makes the, the same effect uh, and you want to make it 0 0.8 same as before like so and then once you do that what you want to do is you just want to drag each one up a little bit so it's barely noticeable I'd say something around there would work and what you want to do is you want to get the same material used for uh, the arrow and you just want to drag that onto the each, each uh, atom array now you would think that it would blend in but since it's overlapping the uh, era as it is it makes a cool little cage effect with the same material it's very cool so then next what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, get the uh, go to uh, here and go to platonic and with this what you want to do is you want to go atom array you just want to drag this in here and you want to make it 0 0.8 as usual uh, so there you go 0 0.8 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this one right here to well same material as uh, I use for the era and I'm just gonna select that and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit smaller so it about fits uh, the uh, well I wouldn't say fit but it's a lot smaller for your effect I'll be showing you in a second so what you want to do is you want to duplicate that and you just kinda want to drag it to the side and just kind of rotate it a little bit make it kind of different than the other one so it's not just facing up and then with that you want to duplicate those two and then just drag it over here make it a little bit more random so like maybe turn it a little like so so just keep doing that and all the way around so you just keep duplicating them whoops uh, right here just keep duplicating these to make it go all the way around the uh, logo so I'm just gonna kinda do this right here like so and then just wanna keep duplicating it uh, make sure you don't get the uh, cage from the other stuff so just duplicate that drag it up top and I'm gonna deselect the camera so I can get a better angle about right there I would say Drag it over here, maybe down a little bit, other way, so about like that. I'm actually going to rotate it a little bit so it fits both sides like that, so kind of like that. That looks good. Drag it down a little bit. And then we're just going to duplicate that again, and we're going to drag it to the left a little bit. So we're going to do that, and we're just going to kind of kind of make it blend in so like this like that and then we're gonna do it one more time for the right side so about right there duplicate that make it on the right side um, but I, we're gonna delete this to make it blend in a little bit better and now we're gonna select these again and we're gonna drag it out just a little bit more so like that and as you can see um, we have the red lava just on the art, so we're gonna get this lava, and we're just gonna put it on a couple of these, not all of them, just a few of them. So like that, uh, select some different places. You don't want them to be all bunched up together. You want to kind of have in different places. Put one up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, make sure every time you use material, put projection to cubic and uh, check seamless. What that does is, uh, if you notice, well, I guess it's hard to tell on this one, but it it makes it where it the material goes on each side of everything, and then seamless makes it where it's like if the image is small, it doesn't have lines throughout the uh, the texture. So put one right here, cubic seamless, and then put one right here. So this will do. And then what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to get uh, the three arrows 
and here's where we're gonna use Nitro Blast. So go plugins, Nitro Blast main, and set the quality to high and set 170 pieces. So we're just gonna wait for that to break. And if you don't know what Nitro Blast is, it's kind of like Thrasty on steroids. Um, I did a tutorial on Nitro Blast, but I'm just gonna do it again here. So we're just gonna wait for this to break. Um, so there we go. So as you can see here, usually it's gonna have yellow and blue, but uh, my Nitro Blast somehow sets it automatically to Latem, which is what I usually use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this Devil V3, and we're just gonna put it in the yellows all the yellows so then because yellow is the inside and then this is the outside because as you saw you didn't see any yellow when it was breaking up or any uh, lava you just saw these latems because that's the outer and this is the inner so I'm gonna show you what you can do now with that that effect so we're just gonna select all of our pieces by opening it up selecting all the pieces by holding shift and just dragging it into the fracture once you do that, you can just delete that so it will be easier and it will save some space. So once you do this, you just want to select them all by holding shift like so. We're just going to do it one more time for the A. Uh, two right there. So once you have done that, what you want to do is you have your fracture. Make sure you click fracture, go MoGraph, Effector, Random. So as you can see, it's going to break it up right now break everything up and it's obviously too much so we're just gonna kinda bring it down just a little bit so about right there and once we do that we're gonna select our fracture we're just gonna kinda drag it behind the uh, era logo so this and we're just gonna drag it down just a little bit like that we're gonna duplicate this fracture and we're just gonna drag it to the right a little bit we're gonna kind of make it the broken pieces fit up everywhere so maybe right there a little bit and then duplicate it again over here so like that so as you can see it has a nice little broken up thing here but act hold on actually I'm gonna drag this one to the left a little bit more so the atom arrays can be a bit more visible so as you can see there we have cool little render so far but we're not done yet what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna go to uh, Platonic, and we're gonna get our Atom Array, and we're just gonna put that on there. Uh, and then once you do that, you wanna go to Atom Array, 0 0.8, as usual. That's what I use for everything with Atom Array. So once you do that, you just wanna kinda make it a little bit smaller. Oh, about that size. What you wanna do is, well, actually a little bit smaller. So about right, meh, smaller. So about that size. What you want to do is you want to put that there and you want to get your Latem material and you just kind of want to drag it on there like so and you just want to duplicate it again and then put it over here maybe up here drag it behind a little bit rotate it just a little so it's a bit more randomized but this time we're gonna get the lava so we're gonna kind of randomize it up a little bit I guess you could kind of say like particles but it's a little bit too big to be particles, but it's like lo floating things around the render. So once you do this, uh, you just want to duplicate these two things, and then you could just like rotate them down a little bit, kind of like that maybe. Select one, or select this one, and just kind of drag it down closer to the render, maybe drag it behind or forward, but something like that. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you the final image of what this render will look like. This is a really good render you could use if you wanted to. Um, you could use it for different styles if you want, but it's a really cool render you could use. Uh, I'm going to show you the final image in a second. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, sorry if this one was a little bit longer than our usual tutorials, but this one's a little bit special. So, uh, peace, guys. I'm out.